Fireworks going off in the background. And what this means, we can tell you now, the top 10 have now clinched their positions, and that includes Denny Hamlin. And that's mainly because of the problems that Kevin Harvick, our points leader, had. Jamie? Well, third win here for Tony Stewart, but the first with Darian Grubb. Darian, after practice, you guys weren't one of the top dogs everybody was talking about. How did you make this happen tonight? I don't know why not. Tony's an incredible driver. The car was really good. We were fast from the time we unloaded. Tony's been qualifying great every week, gives us good pit picks, and his pit crew was incredible tonight. Entire Office Depot, Old Spice team, and everybody at Stewart Haas. Can't thank anybody enough except for like the 39. They came in and did the tire test, and that really helped us out. Uh, it's a true team effort, and everybody did an incredible job. First time this year this 14 team gets to go to victory lane. Marty? He's the 11th different driver to win here in 2010. His third win in Atlanta and his 24th start, and he's getting his money's worth in this burnout. That's pretty cool. And are we going to climb the fence? Let's talk to second place while we wait to find out. Doc? And Carl climbing out of the car, and that's the Carl Edwards that uh, we're accustomed to seeing in the top five all night, leading laps and then contention down to the final lap. Yeah, that was fun. Uh, Tony just had such a fast car there at the end, but we're, we're back. You know, we're doing it. We're, uh, we're scoring more points than anybody. We're headed into the chase. I feel like we've, we've locked ourselves in, and... Um, I just got to thank Aflac for sticking behind us. I mean, that's what they do. They stick behind you when things are bad, and it hasn't been good. And uh, the last couple months have been have been great. So I'm excited about going to Richmond, really excited about starting the chase. And um, this, we had something that could win the race tonight, and that's, that's a blast, you know. What turned it around for this team starting in the middle of June? I can't say what turned it around, but um, Bob and the guys have just been working hard, and that's what it's about. I mean, you know, when they go to the shop and we're not running the way that they want, you know, they've got to keep digging and keep working. And... Um, it's, it's pretty cool that they're able to do that, and, and everybody's stuck behind us, my fans, and, and like I said, Aflac and Scotts and Ford and everybody. I, I know we don't look like uh, we did in 2008, but we're, we're better set to go race for that championship now than we've ever been. A lot of momentum for Carl Edwards, guys. And yeah, we told you we'd keep a camera on this because, uh, Ryan, in case you're going to have a discussion, remember, these guys go back to days when they were running sprints and midgets. Ryan's smiling, but Casey's not. Yeah, they both kind of got a beef there. And I just think what Ryan, racing. yeah, Ryan's trying to tell him. He was really just trying to give him a, a push by the car, uh, a little nudge down the back straightaway, but hit him a little too hard. And, of course, Casey's not understanding that. While that continues, let's check in with Jamie Little. Well, Jimmy Johnson brings it home third. He's watching the action on the screen, too, between those two drivers. Jimmy, you got out there, led some laps tonight. Take us through your night and sum it up for us. Yeah, it was really a good night. I mean, there were times where, uh, you know, we lost the handle and were able to adjust the car and get it back, something that we've had, a, you know, struggles with on the mile and a half over the last couple of months. Uh, so all in all, a solid, solid day. I mean, good, good job in the pits, good job on the track. Um, you know, just uh, glad, to, glad to get a good run on a track that's been tough on us. This track's hard to get it right. And uh, Cobalt Tool Chevrolet was awesome. So I hope everybody has an awesome uh, holiday tomorrow, and uh, we'll be back and do it again next weekend. All right, next weekend is the track he's strong at. Marty? And that'll be Richmond. Of course, we'll have nationwide action on Friday night. And then, of course, we'll have uh, Sprint Cup action on Saturday night. So it is Tony Stewart picking up his first win of the 2010 season. He has now scored more points in the last 12 races than anybody else. Jamie McMurray had the streak of the most points in the last six races. And we're waiting for Tony to come out of the car. And he looks spent. These guys have been racing for four hours. It's a long, hard race. I mean, you work hard as we could sell all of these drivers sliding around. Even the best cars, they were having to work extremely hard. Looks like Rick Kendrick yep. leaning in the door. Rick gives his congratulations to Tony. It's been a great partnership, those two teams. Tony's going to pick up two spots right now. He'll move up to fourth. But as we mentioned, the top ten have now clinched. Let's set it down to Dave Burns. All right, here he comes. It's been nearly a year since he's visited Victory Lane, but he is back. Tony Stewart, victorious in Atlanta.
So you had us a little nervous with those restarts at the end there, Tony. How nervous were you with a great race car? Are you kidding me? I didn't hit a restart all night till right there at the end, but uh, golly, man, what a night. I mean, it's just so proud of these guys behind us. They're the ones that got us there. I mean, it, it was the last pit stop that got us the track position and gave me the opportunity. When I got back in traffic, I was in really bad shape. And this one is for my buddy Eric Saunders, who's in Indianapolis. He uh, got hurt really bad in a motor car, motocross crash, and uh, he's up in Indianapolis healing and uh, he's paralyzed right now. But he's one of the toughest young guys I know. So, uh, Eric, buddy, this one's for you, pal. So, uh, Steve Odlin, Office Depot, Old Spice, uh, U.S. Army Sprint, all these fans at Atlanta. I mean, this is uh, this was kind of a heartbreak year for these guys, knowing they're going to lose a race next year. But uh, Tornadoes and Haas Automation and Mac Tools, all these guys that help Stuart Haas here. It's just, uh, God, I've never been so happy to win in my life. <laughs> and 10 extra bonus points going into the chase, guys. Dave, thanks. We talked that if Tony Stewart could win a race, he would be a threat to win the championship. Well, he won tonight in Atlanta. More coming up from Atlanta on SportsCenter, including a visit with Tony Stewart, as well as what's been an adventurous day in sports. That is coming up next. And don't forget, next weekend, it's on to Richmond. The nationwide next generation car, Friday night, ESPN2, 7 Eastern. And our Sprint Cup race, the race to decide the seatings for the chase for the Sprint Cup. It's on ABC next Saturday. Race at 7.30, NASCAR countdown at 7 Eastern. Eastern time. So he got trapped back in traffic for a little while, but he rallied back to the front, pulled away at the end. Tony Stewart wins. He clinches a place in the chase for the Sprint Cup, as well as a number of other drivers. And again, more coverage coming up next on Sports Center. We send it up to John Anderson and Kevin Nagandi. Tony Stewart, the winner tonight here at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Gentlemen.